Back in 2007, Charlie Zelenoff started out as a cocky teenager loving the attention and the cameras. Little by little his early signs of mental illness were fed by trolls who wanted nothing but to make a mockery out of him for fun. Unfortunately, they created a time bomb and unleashed a monster now known as the GOAT. Not only am I the best boxer, but I'm a good basketball player too. All right, here's Charlie right now. We're about to start the fight right now. Zelenoff's delusional state could have been stopped if he had sought treatment at a young age. Unfortunately, his delusions spiraled out of control. As a result, he has become a figure of ridicule and contempt in the boxing world and social media. He is now known as that delusional kid that got knocked out by Deontay Wilder. Mm, look at that. Down for the count. Look at that. Charlie Z. One, baby. Look at that. Charlie has become a compulsively obsessive liar in an attempt to cover up for his insecurities, constantly seeking validation from trolls online, and will go to great lengths to manipulate the truth to make himself appear more successful than what he actually is, which is a behavior of a narcissistic personality disorder. It's very clear that without support and guidance, his delusional state has gotten worse. Mental illness mixed with early drug use and alcohol have undoubtedly negatively impacted his life, often getting into troubles with the law and getting beaten up several times in the process. Zelenoff often lies about girlfriends, living in a mansion, being rich, beating people up, going as far as saying he beat up five people in an elevator, all at the same time. He once said that he is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and if he touched a person, they will be cured of cancer. And no, he is being totally serious. I'm the best fighter in the world. I don't give a fuck who you are. I just beat up an old guy for no reason. Mark Tyson in the 80s has never showed me. It's kind of hand speed. Oh, that guy got knocked out. He didn't fly back. He flew back and he got knocked out. I put him on the ground. I've been a boxer for 19 years. Who had been a boxer? And then I got a girlfriend that I started dating. I took her to the mall and I kissed her. Like, no, oh, yeah, I started dating. I started dating with her. I own LA. I'm the king of the world. Hi, baby. Hello, what's Charlie, the boxing champion. Remember we had sex? Oh. Yes, I did. And you text me? With Zelenoff running out of options and running out of time in a race he cannot win, and his parents getting older, what would the future be like for him? Will he end up in jail, a mental institution, homeless, die from alcohol poisoning, or will he forever be an online troll living in a fantasy world he created for himself? Motherfuckers. Hating on me and Brian. Me and LeBron James is the two most hated athletes of all time. But we're both the best though. I mean, I'm, I'm better than him at what I do than what he does, believe it or not. He broke Kareem's record, but I broke Ali, Tyson, Mayweather, Lennox Lewis, Foreman, Larry Holmes. I broke all their records combined. Okay, I'm okay, baby. You see this? You knock your husband out. It's gonna get real ugly. Little bitch. Let's box. Bitch, you shouldn't have ran away. Bitch ass. Kim Kardashian, mother. 
professional boxer. Alright. Pro boxer. Alright. Undefeated. You ever boxed before? No. Oh! That's how you get it, bitch. That's how you get it. So, you like that gym? Eat that, mother Dragging a lot. Remember that high school we went to? You got Let it go, bitch. Everything got recorded. Don't you I'm up, man. Provoke me. Because I just fucked that guy up, man. Man, what a jet. 288 and up! One fight he will not win is against Father Time and himself. And with his alcoholism taking a toll on his body and neglecting his health, we can be sure that we are witnessing what's possibly the last dance of Charlie Zelenoff. Stay tuned for updates on the greatest boxer of all times and subscribe for more content.